Hello and welcome to our Chocolate Talk series with Emam. Um, this is the 10 minute live stream that gives you new tips and tricks to take control of your Emam workflow. Um, speaking now is me, John Bond. I'm the marketing producer here at Emam and uh, who's gonna be walking us through all of these cool tips and tricks um, with our panel inside of Adobe After Effects. Uh, we have here our senior software engineer, Anoop NR. And uh, with that, I'll let Anoop take it over. And um, any questions, you guys can hold till the uh, end, and we'll be sure to answer them. But just a quick little uh, preview of what we can do in After Effects. Take it away, Anoop. Yeah, thank you, John. So hello, everyone, and welcome once again to the Choklux Talks, where we will be talking about Adobe After Effects and Imam today. So let's get started. So Imam have tight integration with the following Adobe applications, namely Premiere Pro, After Effects, Photoshop, Media Encoder, Illustrator, and InDesign. So panel allows to create, save, and retrieve the projects and documents produced by these applications in an organized manner. Imam panel allows users for a complete collaborative editing without ever leaving their editing applications. Panel manages different types of projects, allows to group them together as a collection, and can easily search and find the desired project from the panel itself. With a powerful version control, users can keep track of the changes and easily start working on a desired version. Projects can be viewed only by the assigned users and also have the option to lock and check out the project for secure editing can find the desired content from multiple locations like cloud or on-premise, all just with a simple search. Also, panel allows to do the archive and restore of the contents from the EMAM panel itself. We can install and manage all the panels using the App Manager application. You can download and install App Manager from EMAM Director, My Accounts, App Sections. So once the app manager is installed, user can see the status of Imam panels installed in their local machine and also do a new install or update or removal of the panel from the desired Adobe application using the app manager itself. Once you have installed the After Effects panel, you can go to After Effects and open the panel from Windows Extensions menu and log in to the panel using Imam credentials. By default, panel will be showing the projects tab. Panel also consists of category and assets tab, then settings and configurations, search, import, archive, and restore options. We will go to these different sections in the following slides. In the projects tab, EBAM and After Effects projects are listed. Also, you can see that there is a collection where we can group together multiple projects. The projects will be checked out during the editing to avoid overlapping and also checked in automatically once the project is exported back to Imam. This helps to ensure security and versioning. You can search for a project name and click on import to open the project in After Effects. While importing a project, Imam will provide the history of the previous edits and also the comments to easily find the version you want to work with. Moving on to the categories tab, this provides a categorized view of the assets in Imam. You can search and find the category and import them as a bin to After Effects. During export, the After Effects bin structure or the local folder path can be recreated as a category in Imam that is based on the configuration you set in panel. Now on the Assets tab, from Assets tab, you can browse the assets in Imam. This allows to easily search and find the content and import them to the After Effects project. Double clicking on a particular asset will bring up the asset option pop-up where you can preview the content. Also, we can see the metadata details, history, comments, and versions of the asset. We can initiate the review and approval process for the compositions also from this particular window. To start working on a project existing in Imam, you can search for the project in the Projects tab, select it and click on Import. Here you will have a checkout option to check out the project so that no one else can make changes to the project at the same time. Next option is Localize. 
if you are doing a remote editing use this option to localize the media to your local scratch disk if the storage is an on premise one you can uncheck this option and the assets will be directly linked to the imam storage panel also allows to link original proxy or mezzanine formats of the asset from the link assets to drop down so select the desired options and click on ok now the project will be opened in after effects and you can start working on them once the editing is completed you can export the project back to imam with the new changes panel will automatically detect the already existing assets in imam and the new files added from the local workstation user can select the compositions and assets that needs to be ingested to imam panel will upload the selected assets and encoded compositions to imam and then check in the project as a new version so those are the slides and now we will do a quick demo of the same so here we have our after effects with our panel already installed you can see the projects tab and the category tab and also the assets tab where we can browse the different assets and also in the settings section we can we can do the local scratch disk test settings and also the ingest profile configuration and the export format for the exporting composition and also the s3 upload configurations now for the demo we will go to the imam director and create a new imam project and add a new asset to that project and import that in after effects and export it back with a new composition so we will create a new project and assign a storage and assign uses to that one then we will uh, drag and drop an asset to this project you can see this this is now an imam project now we will go to after effects and refresh our project tab so our new project is available here we can click on import and there is our checkout and localize option so we will keep this option as such since we are doing a remote editing from s3 so now we can see the webinar demo has been opened as an after effects project and the asset is also localized to the project now we will create a composition and give it a new name and click on okay now we will add a new logo and create a small clip we will do some editing like this suppose that completes our edit now we are okay to export back the changes into imam so we will click on export and add a version note then click on okay so the panel will automatically detect the asset that was imported from imam and also the composition and the new logo added from the local workstation then we can we can see the project details here also select the categories to which the project and new assets needs to be exported also we can add tags then if there is any custom metadata we can add that also for now we will just go ahead and add this project here the the composition will be submitted to adobe media encoder to render that one to the format that we have selected in the settings we have selected as none so it will create an h264 proxy here also the new logo which we have added that will also get exported to imam so it will take some time for the composition to be rendered by the media encoder it depends upon the size of the composition and the format which we have chosen for the uh, rendering so 
meanwhile we can go to imam director and do a refresh so here we can see that now the imam project has been converted into a after effects project so earlier it was an imam project now it is an after effects project and also it is still in the checked out status since the rendering process is still going on and we can see in the media encoder that the composition is submitted to media encoder and the rendering process is going on once the rendering process completes we will get the composition into imam and imam will process the files to create the proxy and extract the metadata and also create a thumbnail for the to view that in imam director so we can wait for some moment so that the export completes and we can see the encoded composition in our imam director so we can see the composition uh, encoding has been completed now the logo is also being uploaded to imam oh, now that is completed we can come back to director and once again refresh and the same we can see the after effects project now that is checked in and it is an after effects project in the version tab we, we check we have two versions one imam version which which had only one asset in that one and in the second one after effects project we have the new composition and also the logo we have added from local if you refresh the browse tab we can see the composition and we can preview that with the logo what we have added from the after effects now the composition is available in ema and you can send it for review and approval or add it to an ebin to share to other people or you can add it to a delivery queue and deliver it for some other workflows so once the editing is completed you can archive the project and start working on the next project so that was a basic end to end workflow of imam panel and adobe after effects so i hope the session was informative to all of you so thank you awesome thanks anup really appreciate you coming on and uh showing us how this panel works i don't see we have too many questions so we'll close it out thank you for uh taking a look at chocolate talks with us this week um we'll be back in two weeks for a a big look at adobe photoshop and our panel inside of that um, feel free to check out our Vimeo page for all of these recordings and any uh, videos for tips and more tricks on how to take control of your EMAM workflow. So thank you very much, Anoop, and thank you everyone who attended, and uh, have a good day. Learn more at emamcloud.com and emamsolutions.com.